Hi, it's Susan Beasley of Chris and SusanBeasley.com and Chris and Susan.tv. And in this video tutorial, I want to share with you how important it is that you create a really good Facebook cover. And by Facebook cover, I mean that's the long picture that you see here on our Facebook page, our Facebook timeline, our personal profile. Because people really and truly do go look at you when they're thinking of joining you in your business. They want to check you out. There's various things they want to see. So two things are key. A is to have a really good profile pic. That's the little one that you see there on the left hand side. And the other is that you have a nice Facebook cover and that can be made up in so many different ways and I hear you say but I don't know how to do that I don't have any graphic design skills well let me share with you nor do we I have tried to make them out of photographs myself and use little bits of software but to be honest when we discovered something I'm going to share with you today the whole exercise became super simple. So what is that little bit of software called? Well, it's called Canva. So it's canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. It is totally free to actually use their um, Facebook um, cover design software and some of their background images, some you will pay a very small amount for. But the best thing is they basically give you a template to actually create your Facebook cover. So I'm going to hop over there and show you in just a moment. And in answer to a question that I had just the other day, which actually has prompted this video, so thank you very much, is how can I create a cover, a Facebook cover just like yours? Well, the one that we had on our our particular Facebook, which I'll just show you again, is this one here. That was created using Canva. And we used their design template, which is for specifically creating a Facebook cover. So it starts just like that. Oh, and by the way, you log into your Canva account, you create your Canva account, you can use it signing in um, or creating using Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter. Um, very, very easy and you're never going to forget your login. Uh, and as long as you are logged into the specific account uh, that you opened it with, then it will be no problem at all. So I'm logged into Facebook so I can get into my Canva account by clicking on the link that says with Facebook. So there you go, you've got your size there. They even show you what the little picture there is so that you make sure when you add a background image that it will totally fit for you. There are all these designs you can see here and there's loads and loads and loads of free ones and you literally, I mean, you literally just click on them like this and it appears there and you can see what it looks like. I mean, it could not be simpler than that, could it really? And the best thing of all is that you can change all of the typing. You can you can just go in there, you can edit it. Um, you can change these words here. See, they come up like this and you get the size of print that you want to write. Um, you can, don't like it, you can shove it in the dustbin. Uh, you can just do so much with it and of course you'll be able to see that what you write in there doesn't get overshadowed by your little profile pic. Um, so really super, super simple um, and then you can have various paid themes, um, they cost like a dollar a time and you create your picture there and then in front of you and then you just, when it's ready, you click download and it downloads it to your computer, to your hard drive and then from there you just upload it back up to your Facebook there. You just click on that little, little picture of the camera that says update cover photo. When you click on that, it will ask you where the picture is held and you'll find there's one bit that says upload. So you go upload and then you go and find where you've stored your downloaded version that you've created in Canva and away you go. So that's a very, very simple way to create a really nice timeline cover and one that you can change as many times as you like to keep it fresh. So if you've got a page as well, like we've got a page here, you can do exactly the same. You create, um, you create your cover, your cover photo, your cover using Canva. Uh, you can add quotes to it, you can add pictures. I actually had this one professionally designed, um, but you know what? 
you don't need a lot of graphic skills to create something that is perfectly acceptable for your own page. So that's the training. Hope that you enjoyed it. There's tons more that you can do with Canva. You can create all kinds of different size pictures. You can upload your own pictures. You can add your logos. You can add words. Suddenly, you're going to find it a lot easier to actually share stuff on Facebook that you actually see other people doing and you think, how the heck did they do that? Uh, it's easy. You can do it on your PC and there are various other tools that you can use on your, um, your iPhone or your Android. Uh, so there you go. You've got a huge choice now. I hope you found that training useful. Please like and share it and help other people who might not find that really useful. Over and out from Susan.